Today's video, gentlemen, we're going to be talking about summer essentials. Let's start this off by talking about the perfect summer shoe. When I think of the perfect summer shoe, I think of a shoe that's going to work with all of my outfits in my wardrobe. Something that's going to be able to deal with the hot weather and keep me cool. Something that I could wear for miles, walking around New York City and still be comfortable. Something that's going to give me traction. Something that's going to simply work for all situations. And the reality is, gentlemen, there is no such thing as the one perfect shoe. That being said, I do think that you can put together a collection of a few shoes which can serve your needs. And I think that's key. You've got to think about, okay, what am I going to be doing this summer? What do I need to wear the shoes for? Am I simply going to be going to the beach? Am I going to be walking around a city? Am I going to be going hiking? So that's what you want to be thinking. Lay out your needs and then purchase the shoes appropriately. Now, in general, laced shoes that the vamp goes farther up on the foot are going to do a great job of staying on the foot and are great. If you're going to be doing a lot of walking, you're going to be doing hiking. So whether they be boots, whether they simply be a sneaker, so you're walking around the city, you want to look for something that's going to stay close to the foot and not cause any friction around the foot. Now, what about color? The rule of thumb here is that dark solid colors are going to be more interchangeable, aka easier to match. Especially if you've already got colors like this in your wardrobe, you're just going to have outfits which will work with them. Now, bolder or multicolored designs like this one right here, understand that they look great, but they're also going to be ones that are going to get compliments, therefore are going to be remembered, and they may be something you don't feel comfortable wearing again and again. Now, what about the classic white sneaker? Well, in my opinion, this is a great piece to add your casual summer wardrobe, especially if you don't have a pair, if you've got canvas, Maybe look to upgrade the leather. In general, I think it's an easier upkeep. But there's a lot of advantages to canvas sneakers. They're lighter, cooler, and less expensive. Now, let's talk about the summer boot. You may be saying, Antonio, come on, is there such a thing as the summer boot? Not exactly, but there are desert boots, aka the chukka. That's what it comes out of the World War II design right here. And what I like about this is overall, it's going to use a lighter material. Now, when you go out there and you look for boots, if you really want a pair during the summer, you can look for the thickness of the leather. The one thing I don't like going super lightweight on that leather though, because it can tear over time. But I do like it when you go with a design that's simply cut lower. That's going to be a bit more comfortable comfortable, maybe not necessarily great for hiking, but definitely better for hot weather. Another summer boot I absolutely love is the Chelsea. So this one right here, a lighter color, lighter colors in general for the summer works really well with boots, overall a lightweight material and just a simple slip on, very comfortable. I also like, of course, the extra inch and a half right there in the heel. So every man when he puts these on, they look a little bit leaner, a little bit taller. What's not to like about summer boots like this. And now let's circle back to the loafer. If I had to choose one shoe, which to me epitomized the perfect summer shoe, it would be the loafer. They come in a wide variety of styles, different looks. This one right here is a Gucci horse bit loafer. This is a classic shoe in menswear. What I love about this is every time I put this shoe on, it feels amazing, incredibly comfortable. And it's really about the leather. It's the overall design. This is like wearing a pair of slippers. The only situation in which I would not recommend them is anytime you want traction, be careful of that leather sole. That's why they've got boat shoes that have actually a rubber sole and have full traction. But other than that, this is the pair of shoes. If I'm walking through, I I don't know. I'm just, I imagine myself walking through Europe wearing these things, just looking and feeling great. And like I said, there's a wide variety of options out there. This one made by Jay Butler. What I like about this, they've got the horse bit as well, but you'll notice right here, we've got a perforated leather. So the perforated leather, if you haven't heard of this before, this is where they actually put small holes in the leather to make it more breathable. And when I was talking about designs, yeah, you can get rid of that horse bit. If you don't like that, go with a classic penny loafer design. This one right here, a bit more conservative, but still got that dark color a little bit of blue suede and again got that perforated leather. But what I like is they've got the rubber sole, a little bit more traction. The issue with this is the build quality. These are maybe going to last one season. Now, I talked about color, but let's talk about materials. What is the difference between suede or just going with a regular leather? So, a regular leather is going to be more durable. This is something that people are used to seeing and in general is going to probably be more interchangeable. However, if you want to go with something that pops a bit, bring a bit of texture in, then consider a suede. What I like about this is you can be wearing a very simple outfit, but the shoes speak for themselves. And yeah, these right here just look great. They're going to stand out and they're going to make you look more stylish this summer. And this one's a pure bonus, but my favorite dress shoe during the summer is got to be the double monk strap. Incredibly comfortable, incredibly stylish. I can wear this with a suit. I can dress it down with jeans, but if you're looking for a dress shoe for the summer, look to the double monk strap. I personally love it. Knox blood, but a dark brown works just as well. Now guys, throughout this video, I'm going to be talking about a lot of different products, 
a lot of different brands and to make this easy for you down in the description of today's video I'm going to link over to realmenrealstyle.com I've got an article where I basically summarize all this information so you can go off and buy whatever you want check out the different websites this isn't a sponsored video I simply just wanted to be able to provide value and so I'm going to be talking about a lot of brands I've talked about in the past some new brands you probably never heard me talk about so make sure to take notes and again check down in the description because I'm going to make it easy for you by linking over to them through my website realmenrealstyle.com oh I almost forgot I'm linking to my free PDF down in the description the ultimate guide to dressing sharp in hot weather is yours absolutely free I'm putting the link down in the description this goes well beyond what I'm going to talk about in this video it gives you lots of tips and tricks to looking amazing when it's hot next up on this list is summer essentials gentlemen a great looking watch but not just any watch I want a watch that looks good and can deal with me jumping in the pool or if I get thrown in the pool yeah that watch is going to be able to take it now this watch right here coming out of my collection I've talked about it before this is a Rolex Yacht Master what I really like about this one is the contrasting metal so we've got the Everose gold along with the steel it's just a great looking watch it has a bit of flash but not too much it does the most important thing which is keep time but it also this is a status piece when you wear a watch like this women don't notice too much but you know who notices guys that are into watches and oftentimes guys that are into watches these are people that are movers and shakers people that pay attention to the details another example of a great summer watch the Rolex Submariner this one right here no date absolutely love it a very clean overall great looking watch this one's classic been around for a long time and of course it's water resistant down to 200 meters but most importantly this is a watch that when you buy it yeah you're not gonna have to worry about buying any other watches this could be the one watch that you wear not only in the summer but during the winter anytime you want and great thing you get thrown into the pool you don't have to worry about this thing getting wet now if Rolex isn't your thing but you like the look of the watch you want a great looking dive watch that has a similar pedigree to Rolex but at a better value check out Tudor amazing watches the Black Bay 58 right here one of my favorite watches in my collection it just works for my wrist size and overall the design and just the feel of this watch is amazing now what if you want something unique but you still want something familiar you want a great looking dive watch you want to use premium parts but at the same time you want to pay a little bit less guys tons of great micro brands out there one of the ones I'm going to highly recommend is Manta bought this Ocean King with my own money absolutely love this watch so it really depends guys on what you're looking for but when it comes to dive watches tons of options out there and let's not forget to have fun with the watch strap you don't always have to go with metal because yes most of you guys are not going to go diving with your dive watch so maybe go with something that's a little bit dressier right here I just love the way this brown plays with the bronze plays with the blue right there on the dial just a beautiful looking watch by the way this one is from Yema great company actually I went diving got this watch presented to me by the owner over in Mauritius I was with my son we were there for over a week just staying at this really nice resort and that's the beautiful thing about when you invest in a good quality timepiece is the memories and everything that goes with it and speaking of straps I wanted to show you this watch by EMG this is their Nemo in yellow absolutely love the color it pops just different I wanted to have fun with this watch relatively affordable as well but right here we've got this beads of rice is what they call it absolutely love little details like that and even in the budget of a hundred bucks you can find some decent watches out there this one by Vostok as you can see we've got the NATO strap right over here but this one unique right here on the dial and what we've got is that 24 hour dial so something you don't see in normal watches now if dive watches aren't your thing I get it look at field watches now field watches come out of the military and the idea is that you could quickly look at the watch and be able to tell the time so right here we've got the Rolex Explorer this is a classic simple field watch another field watch in my collection is the Monte Triumph what I really like about this watch is just the way the colors work together I saw this on their website fell in love bought it immediately even though I could have configured gone with a different strap and all that stuff I ended up going with this one just love the way that the brown leather worked with that blue right there on the dial of the watch with the silver steel the hands and when I look at the hands and I look at the individual markers so easy to read for me that's the epitome of a field watch is I should be able to look at it and quickly be able to see the time and just maybe fall in love with how beautifully laid out everything is on the watch that being said gents you don't have to spend over a thousand dollars to get a good quality watch again this Timex right here 
very affordable, and it does what a field watch needs to do. Simply keep accurate time. It's going to use a quartz movement, so it's going to be relatively less expensive than a mechanical movement. But overall, yeah, I like this one, and I do wear this one on occasion. Now, what about a watch you can wear when you're working out? A watch you can wear when you're working, and you don't have to worry about being rough with. A watch that can take a beating and keep accurate time. Gentlemen, check out G-Shock. You've heard of the brand, but what you may not know is they make a ton of different styles out there. This one here, the MTG Steel. I took this one with me to Oregon when I was whitewater rafting. I got thrown out of the raft multiple times. This one got hit up against some rocks. It is fine. Absolutely love how it looks beautiful, yet it's a very tough watch. And if you want something that's a bit more affordable, there are less expensive G-Shocks for well under 100 bucks. This simple Mud Master right here, I take it when I'm going to be working out or if I'm going to be taking my girls to the pool, I'm going to be cutting trees in my backyard and I will be wearing this one because, yeah, if a tree falls on me, this one one will still be able to survive. Now, let's talk about the essential summer shirts, and I've got three for you here. Let's start off with the perfect V-neck t-shirt. Notice I didn't say crew neck. I said V-neck because the V right here just draws a little bit more attention to the summer. You're going to be wearing less clothing. You're not going to really layer this t-shirt, so you want it to look good in of itself. That's what's great about V-neck t-shirts is they slim you up a bit. They draw the eye to the chest area. They're a more masculine look. It's a very casual look, but it's one that if you've got the right body, you pull this off, it looks amazing. Now, as much as I like the V-neck t-shirt, sometimes you need something that's a bit more versatile, something you can dress up and even dress down. That is the polo. This has been in menswear for decades. And what I like about a clean, crisp polo is that I can wear this with a sports jacket, pair of odd trousers, dress shoes, or I could wear this with a pair of shorts. The mistake most men make when it comes to polos is not finding a brand that fits them properly, that when they put it on, it just works with their profile. So that's the challenge, is to find what works for you to go out there and then to buy this in repeat, buy it in colors that you like, that you're going to wear with the other items in your wardrobe. Now, what about bolder colors? What about knits? I think they're great, but understand they're not going to be as versatile. They're not going to be as interchangeable changeable as a lot of the other pieces in your wardrobe, but I do think that if you only wear these type of shirts on occasion, these can help you stand out and will look amazing. And a little bit of advice, when you find a brand that you absolutely love in a color that you absolutely love, don't be afraid to buy in duplicate. Next essential shirt that I think every man should own during the summer is a long sleeve button down made from a breathable fabric. So, I left that a bit open, a bit vague. Let me explain. So, long sleeve button downs, why go with long sleeve? Well, if you're a skinny guy, if you're a big guy, then wearing polos, wearing t-shirts, it's not always going to flatter your body built. You go with a longer sleeve and you roll those sleeves, that will look a lot better on you. But longer sleeves, like the shirt I'm wearing right here, they can be made from a heavyweight material. That's why you want to look for a lighter weight material. You also want to pay attention, is it made from cotton? Is it made from linen? Is it made from a man-made fiber? Now, one is not necessarily better than the other. I know a lot of people will always stay away from man-made fibers, but there are performance shirts out there which are made to be breathable and have a look of quality dress shirts, which I highly recommend. This one right here is made from a very lightweight cotton. I can hold it up to light. I can actually see through it, and it overall is a very breathable, just an amazing summer shirt. Now, another option you're going to see out there is linen. I think linen's a great summer fabric. One of the issues, though, with linen is that it wrinkles very easily. This one right here, actually, I think I ironed this just an hour ago. That being said, if you're looking for a casual shirt, something you can just wear to the beach, something you can just wear and you don't have to dress up for it, linen is a great option. Now, a hybrid that you're going to see out there is linen cotton, and this is where they blend the two. They get the best of both properties. Again, very breathable, very light, and this isn't going to wrinkle as bad, but it still will wrinkle. And let's not forget about performance shirts. Now, when you're looking at these shirts, you got to pay attention to the crispness of the collar, the overall design. This is an area that I think they're overall weak in, but if you have a shirt that you've got to wear daily, this is going to be your work uniform performance shirts may actually be a great option for you. And moving on from shirts, let's talk about what to throw on that shirt if you need to dress it up. Guys, not just any jacket, but actually an unlined jacket. So, an unlined jacket, when you look on the inside, what you're going to see is that there's not a lining. What does this do? This makes it so that it's easier to breathe, especially if you're wearing it with the appropriate shirt underneath. This is going to be something, yeah, you're still going to be warm, but the air is going to be able to flow. It's going to be much more breathable. Now, these jackets in general, you're going to see them made from linen. You're going to see them made from silk blends. You're also going to see cotton. If they've made it 
unstructured. If they made it so it's unlined on the inside, you can pretty much bet this is made for warmer weather and it's going to be something that you may have to pay a bit more for, by the way, believe it or not, because it doesn't have the lining. They had to do a better finishing on the inside. But I love these type of jackets for hot weather when you got to dress sharp at the same time, you want to stay cool. So now let's talk about your trouser options. And I'm going to include shorts. We're going to talk about chinos and we're going to talk about tropical weight trousers. So first up shorts, the key here is are they appropriate? Is the fit spot on? And are you going with an overall clean classic look? Now, when it comes to fit, I like my shorts just to fit above the knee, maybe at the most two inches above. But once you start to go up the thigh quite a bit, they really turn into almost swim trunks. And you got to be careful if they start to go below the knee, they start to look like jorts. Now, with the clean design, nothing against cargo shorts, but they are way overplayed and they are incredibly casual, especially if they're falling apart. Don't wear those. Actually, look for shorts that don't have pockets, that have no stains in them. And again, grays, tans, browns. Those are going to work with a wide variety of your different shirts. So really go for the same colors that you would wear naturally with any of your other trousers. Now with chinos, we've got variations of brown from light tan to sand to a darker brown, tons of options out there, but you could also bring in color. And this is where so many guys fall down. They don't think to bring in the blue, to bring in the red. And what's interesting is you could actually wear red chinos with a navy blazer sports jacket. Actually, that's a pretty cool combination. And now let's talk about tropical weight trousers. Most guys don't even know these things exist. And this is a very lightweight trouser that looks very elegant, can be worn with a sports jacket or even just a nice shirt. But overall, this is going to give you a much more regal appearance. So many guys don't even own these in their wardrobe. Look for them. They're going to be lightweight. They're going to be breathable and they are really going to make you look good. So when it comes to summer gents, you want to smell good. And you also want to, in general, go for something light. The best part about this is that there are tons of options out there that don't cost a whole lot of money. So a couple of inexpensive options, Versace, Manafresh, or Davidoff Cool Water. Both of these classic fragrances. I can tell you that the vast majority of people are going to love them. They're fresh, they're clean, and they can last a long time. Now, if you've got a little bit more of a budget, you want to go for something that's classic, clean, and elegant, has been around for a while, definitely check out Aquadigio, an amazing fragrance. Or if you want something that's a little bit more modern, something that isn't going to offend anybody that you can wear to the office, even if it's hot, check out Dolce & Gabbana's K. Oh, and if money is no object and you want to smell amazing, you want to do something for the ladies, guys, check out Allure Sport Own by Chanel an amazing fragrance that the ladies absolutely love. Or hey, you want to wear it for yourself. You want to be reminded of eating fruit on the Mediterranean. Now, everyone's going to talk about Creed Aventus, but this one right here is one of my favorite Creed's, Erolfa. Just an amazing fragrance with an awesome story. And speaking of wearing a fragrance for yourself, if you just want to smell like a manly man, check out Antaeus or Koros. Both of these amazing fragrances. This one, if you can imagine the rock without a shirt in your face, a little bit sweaty. Yeah, that's what this is. This one right here, the rock, he's wearing a sports jacket, dressed up, but still a little bit sweaty. Yeah, both of these a bit animalistic, but both of them fun and amazing fragrances. I love them. Now, I understand a lot of you guys are not into fragrances, but I think we can all agree you don't want to smell bad during the summer, especially when you're sweating more. So, a lot of you guys would say should be on this list an essential summer is deodorant. But here's the issue with deodorant. It gets in there and it blocks the pores. It's also using chemicals you can't even pronounce. It irritates the armpits sometimes. Other times, it yellows up your shirts. Do you want that? Guys, there are natural options out there. My company, Vitaman, we make a natural deodorant. This is just made to cover up the odor. It's not going to block your pores. And guess what, guys? Natural and organic ingredients. Now, I've talked about my company before and why did I become a partner in this company? Why did I take an ownership stake? Because I believe in what they do. They've got these products which are non-irritating. I've got kids that actually have tons of irritation issues. I started to get irritation issues with simply shampoos and soaps. So, I saw, hey, they've got this great body wash and body cleanser and it's amazing. You also want to have shampoos and conditioners that work specifically for your hair. So, if you're over the age of 30, you're starting to get thinning hair. You want a volumizer shampoo that's going to make your hair naturally look like it has more volume. And if you've got oily hair or you've got dandruff, we 
have specialty shampoos and conditioners over at Vitamin that can naturally work with your body to balance out that pH to make sure that yes, when you've got oily hair, you need to wash and clean your hair, but you don't want a shampoo that's so rough, so it's going to strip out everything that your glands naturally start to produce more oil. That's what you don't want. Or if you've got dandruff, you want to make sure it's something that isn't going to irritate your scalp anymore, which is what's causing the dandruff. We've got the products which deal with this naturally using organic ingredients. Gents, when it comes to grooming over at Vitamin, I've got you covered. When it comes to your hair products, we've got a wide variety of different natural hair products. When it comes to your shaving, not only do we have shave oils, but we've got a shaving gel when combined with the shave oil, it gives you the perfect shave. Put on that nice aftershave. Guys, if you're dealing with bumps, if you're dealing with irritation, and I think that's the thing that I love about this company is that if you have any type of grooming problems, you're probably going to find a solution over at Vitamin. Gents, make sure to use the link down in the description of today's video. This is going to ensure you get the best deal out there on the web. Again, Vitamin, it's my company. I'm proud to bring them to you and let's get back to the content. Next up on our list of essentials, gentlemen, sunglasses. Come on, summer would not be summer without a great pair of shades. And when you're buying a good pair of shades, what I love about this is you're protecting your eyes. Yes, you're looking cool. Yeah, they can actually better frame the face. They add symmetry to the face, which actually can make you more attractive. But a good pair of classic sunglasses, they're not going to go out of style. So, the three styles I advocate for most men, right here we've got the Club Master. And this is going to be a classic pair that's been around for decades. Going on the more extreme, if you want something that's going to grab a little bit more attention, look for Wayfarers. What I like about Wayfarers a bit more in the frame. Now, those shades I just took off, those were Maui Gems. These are Enemy, another great brand that's going to be a bit more affordable. These are Enemy as well and these are going to be the classic Aviators. What I like about Aviators is these are going to flatter most faces out there. They're not going to be as in your face as the Wayfarers. They also do a great job of protection because that's what they were designed for. Aviators at high altitudes who wanted to be able to protect their eyes from the glare of the sun. Just classic glasses which if you find the right size for your face are just going to enhance your look and it's a classic summer piece. Now, this next accessory a lot of guys forget about and that is have a nice belt. So, we all know that your belt should probably match your shoes, but don't be afraid to have a little bit of fun with the belt. Right here, we've got this crocodile, just a great looking belt, the texture, the overall look. If you're going for a classy summer look and you're just simply wearing the shirt with the trousers, you want something that stands out a bit more, even more than your shoes, go for a nice belt. And it doesn't have to always be about dressing up. It can also be about having fun. Notice the colors here. Wear this to a 4th of July party or maybe on a patriotic day here in the United States. Yeah, it's just simply having fun and that's what I love about belts. They're a great accessory to have fun with. And by the way, both these belts can be had over at Anson Belt and Buckle. I'll link to them down in the description. Next up on this list of summer essentials, guys, you got to have a great read. For me, The Wealthy Gardener. I'm going to be reading this probably for the third time this summer. I've already listened to the audiobook twice. This book is amazing, life changing. What I like about this one is it in one book encapsulates so many other great reads out there when it talks about living a life of prosperity. We're not just talking about money. Yes, doing well financially, but also when it comes down to your soul, when it comes down to your satisfaction with living a life that is worth living. This book is powerful. If you haven't grabbed it, go grab it over on Audible, grab the book over on Amazon. An amazing book. Highly recommend you have an amazing summer read. Nothing against trash novels either. I've got some great ones as well, but uh, books like this, yeah, transform the way that you look at the world. And now, let's talk about summer headwear. How to choose the perfect hat. How to do that, guys? Well, I've got you covered in this video right here, so go check it out. I go into a lot more detail talking about different hat styles, different hat types, how to find the right hat for you. I've got you covered in this video right here.